Hi everyone, what is up? How are you doing? Hi, I'm filming in a new location. I'm still in my room, but we're from a different angle because I like to switch things up, I guess. So there we go. Here's my closet doors. They have stickers on them. There are dog stickers because I'm 12 apparently. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a video today about facts about me. This was recommended by Lourdes. Shout out to you if you're watching this. Because um, I asked for YouTube video ideas on my TikTok and in the description of my last video, but I feel like it's rare if people read the description of videos. So I asked it on my TikTok too. And that was one of the recommendations I got. So that's what I'm doing today because I thought it might be fun. Get to know me a little bit better, you know. I don't know how many facts I'm doing. I think I'm just gonna like see what I can come up with and that's what's gonna happen, I guess. Fact number one is I've never played Minecraft. I feel like this is very shocking to people because every single time I've brought it up, people are like, no way, I can't believe you, you haven't tried it once? And I'm like, no, it was like $7 in the app store and I was not allowed to buy something like that because, I mean, my mom's kind of old, so I don't really think she understands what purchasing an app off the app store really means, you know? Um, especially because I asked her this when I was in like grade three or something and she was like, what? What are you, what are you talking about? You want to download this on a family tablet? Like, no. Um, I wanted to download it because my childhood best friend had it and it was like all the rage. Everyone was talking about it and I was like, I have no idea what this is, but obviously I want it because I'm a follower. <laughs> so I asked for it. I didn't get it though. And I have never played it. I don't know what the concept is. I literally, I mean, I know it has the like cool block animation. Is that why people love it so much? I don't know. Like, is there a end game to it? Because people play it so often and I'm like, what are, what is the objective here? Like, what are we trying to do? I've never understood that. I have watched maybe like two Minecraft videos in my life. I watched Alfie Days play it with Joey Graceppa like a very long time ago. I don't really remember it, but at the same time I rem remember it like a lot. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I, it's vague, but the parts that I do remember are very vivid. So that's kind of weird. I also did watch Dan and Phil play it because I mean, duh. Their Minecraft video is very hated in the fandom because they're terrible at it, they don't know what they're doing, but since I don't know how to play Minecraft, I'm just vibing along with them. I'm like, yeah, cool animations, but I don't know what we're supposed to be doing either. People were very upset about it because it took them like five minutes to figure out how to break a block, and I was like, you know what, you guys do you. I can't say anything because I don't know how to break a block either. <laughs> okay, so I mentioned this in like my second video, I think, that I don't really watch TV shows, which again comes as a shock to a lot of people. But for some reason, I feel like I'm a bit behind in the whole pop culture kind of thing development because, um, I mean, you can't see it right now, but if you've watched my other videos, you've seen in the background, I have many posters. I have just entered my like stan obsessed phase and I feel like, I was talking about this with my mom and I was like, I feel like people enter their stan fan obsessed phase a bit earlier on, like, 12 13 whereas i'm nearly 16 and i'm just entering it so i feel like i'm a little bit behind on everything i mean i just got into one direction literally last year so i'm clearly very behind on everything but so watching tv shows especially like more grown-up-y kind of shows like there's people i know who watch like murder mystery things or stuff like that and I'm like that's the kind of TV my Nana watches so it seems weird for me to watch it but also I don't have any interest in it like if you have interest if a murder mystery genuinely helps you fall asleep at night go for it you know watch it watch Matthew Gray Goobler on Criminal Minds go for it but personally I'm a very anxious timid person a murder mystery is not gonna do me any sort of good i mean i got anxious watching stranger things i didn't even finish it because i just it was just too much for me you know i couldn't take it i like sitcoms okay i don't sit down and watch things like i won't go on netflix and be like what tv show should i watch i'll watch things if it's on live tv which is mainly sitcoms <laughs> because most people use streaming services nowadays so 
they play old things, you know, like Friends, Seinfeld, Big Bang Theory. Those are the things that I will watch frequently. Do I know the plot of them all? Absolutely not, because they're just kind of background shows. You don't really have to know who everyone is to be able to follow along with the plot. Um, I find that if the show has a laugh track, then I'll probably enjoy it because I don't know, I feel like most people hate laugh tracks because it makes you feel like you have to laugh, but I like laugh tracks because otherwise, what if I start laughing at a thing that's like not supposed to be funny? I don't know, I just have that like anxiety, but then obviously if you're watching like a very se serious TV show and it's not meant to be a comedy, there's not going to be a laugh track, but I'm just, I'm more for the sitcom type of thing, even if I don't fully watch it through. That's just more my vibe. Maybe when I'm like 19 I'll be super into binge watching Netflix series and you all are gonna be like you're late like we did that four years ago, five years ago. Did I do the math correct? No, three years ago. <laughs> Fact number three, I used to film videos of myself on our family tablet and family computer all the time. I pretended like someone was watching me, I pretended like I had a YouTube channel and I was very serious about it. I filmed everything i have i still have videos of me and it's like me playing with oh my god what was it called it was like slime but the slime that you put in the container when you go like that it makes a fart sound because you know we were like eight so that was the funniest thing for us um i forget what it's called though i'm gonna have to look it up i'll insert it here if i remember what it's called um i have a video of me playing with that i had videos of me doing like gymnastics in my backyard and just doing cartwheels and splits and stuff like that and i would pretend like i was on some sort of gymnastics youtube channel because at that point i was obsessed with seven supergirls and i wanted to be like seven supergirls i wanted to be the eighth seven supergirl although now i'm glad i'm not because their channel got to shut down because of creepy things, whatever, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> I was very fascinated with the idea of broadcasting specific points of your life, which is why I now have a YouTube channel, because clearly I had wanted to do it for a very long time, and I just got to a point this year where I was like, you know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna do it, okay? I clearly always wanted to, so I may as well. Fun fact number, are we on four? I think we're on four. I've had glasses since I was three years old. Yes, I have been blind since basically day one. Um, and it's not just like, oh, you kind of need glasses. Like, no, I have <laughs> very bad eyesight. I couldn't tell you like what my prescription is like number wise because I have absolutely no idea what that means. People always ask me, especially in elementary school, because it was cool to like try on each other's glasses for some reason. People would always ask me, oh my god, your glasses are so strong. What's your prescription? And I would be like, what is what does that mean? I have bad eyesight, that's all I can tell you. Um so yeah I've had glasses literally since I was three when I was like three, four, I had to do this thing because one eye is stronger than the other. So I had to do this thing where I had to wear an eye patch during a certain part of the day, covering my stronger eye so that my weaker eye could be trained to become stronger. I don't remember when I stopped doing this. It was only for like a year or something. Um, and they did it early on, obviously, so that there weren't more problems in the future, I guess. Um, so I've had glasses for basically as long as I can remember um, and people always ask me like if you still need glasses when you're older will you wear like contact lenses or will you get like laser eye surgery or something like that and I'm like no I mean no my glasses feel like they're a part of me I'm gonna take them off so you can see what I look like without my glasses but my glasses they feel like they're a part of me like um even when I'm in the shower I feel weird not being able to wear my glasses which fun fact I literally stopped shaving my legs in the shower because I couldn't see without my glasses and I would always just come out of the shower with massive chunks of hair like patches on my legs that I didn't shave because I couldn't see and now I don't shave my legs at all because feminism <laughs> but yeah my glasses they don't bug me you know like when people first get glasses they always talk about like they're like oh my god they're so uncomfortable i hate wearing my glasses like my mom has had glasses for quite a while and she still complains about them and i'm like no girl they're a part of me this is my lifestyle i am used to it you know they don't bug me we're on number five right um i love barbies 
I love Barbies. If I still, okay, so when I was younger, I would play Barbies with my dad all the time. Like all the time. We loved it. We would play, like we would do, so if you're aware of America's Got Talent, we would do a spinoff and it would be Barbie's Got Talent or Dancing with the Stars would now be Dancing with Barbie, you know? Like we would do little spinoffs like that. We'd play restaurant. I always played Barbies with him and so I just, I have a love for Barbies and I definitely played Barbies way longer than the average person did. Um, I would still be playing Barbies now. I mean, sometimes I still go in the playroom and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna play some Barbies. I did that like a week or two ago. And I was just coming up with this like dramatic, dumb, soap opera kind of storyline. Because you know what, playing with Barbies is fun and I don't think you should be ashamed of it. Just do whatever, you know? You watch your criminal minds and I'll play with my Barbies, okay? <laughs> I think, is this the facts about me or me revealing how immature I am? I'm not sure. Um, this is kind of random one. Fun fact number six, I have to take this vitamin, which is probiotics, um, which is not as rare as I thought it was. In grade six, I was like super insecure about it because I thought that it was like weird that I had to take this kind of vitamin. It's, it's not that weird. People, get like probiotics is naturally in things like yogurt but i don't like yogurt so i was clearly lacking in the probiotic department um so that's why i have to take this like i guess it's like a supplement yeah supplement um because basically there's kind of a story time attached to it so wow mini story time for all you story time lovers of my channel um i was on vacation i don't remember where we were i think we were in montreal i think and me and my mom were about to go to the hotel pool. We were literally in our bathing suits, just about to go downstairs, when suddenly I got a really bad stomach ache. And so we didn't end up going swimming. Instead, we watched TV in bed while still in our swimsuits. They weren't wet. We just sat in our swimsuits, pretending like they were clothes, underneath the duvet and watching TV, whatever was on the channels in the hotel. Um, <laughs> but ever since then, like during the last part of the vacation I still had kind of constant stomach pain I was having stomach problems so I went to the doctor I think I had an ultrasound I've had multiple ultrasounds obviously you have an ultrasound when you're pregnant I'm not pregnant <laughs> it was just for stomach issues and stuff like that um, and then they were like oh you might just need to take some probiotics which it just like helps with digestion you know it gets your bowels moving if you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah i take those i've been taking those since like grade six i actually remember i had a conversation with my like french teacher in grade six about this because i was like i don't know if i was insecure about it or if i just like wanted to talk to someone about it because i didn't have very many friends in grade six not at least not at the beginning of the year um, so I was talking to her about it and she was like, oh my god, yeah, I take probiotics too. And I was like, oh my god, bonding experience. Um, but then the year after that, I felt like she hated me, so. Fun fact, I think we're on number seven. I don't know how many I'm doing. This might be my last one. But fun fact number seven is I'm an extremely picky eater. I always have been. Um, I think, I don't know, just trying new things, not only with food, but just in general, kind of scares me. Like, as... I was talking about I don't really watch TV shows I wouldn't just go and watch a TV show same with food I wouldn't just go and spontaneously try a new thing like at Dairy Queen there's many different kinds of blizzards that you could get you could get like Kit Kat you could get M&M you could get like a double fudge brownie souffle if you want I don't know what a souffle is that just it sounded right in the moment um, you can get multiple different kinds of things from Dairy Queen every single time since I was young Every single time I go there, I get an Oreo Blizzard. I have never tried anything else. I've never even like thought of trying anything else. I just always get an Oreo Blizzard and that's just like default. Same with like restaurants. Like if, I, if I've if i had something in a restaurant and I like it, the next time I go there, I'm gonna get the same thing. Like I'm not gonna try something else because why would I risk trying something and then end up not liking it? You know, I just, I don't like, too many flavors at once like I eat my burgers plain I don't put tomatoes or lettuce or whatever kind of crap you put on a burger I don't even know condiments that's another fun fact for you don't like condiments don't give me any mustard ketchup any of that crap no thank you it's just like why would I want my food to be wet <laughs> like it's not a dumb question like I guess you put a condiment on something that's dry already because you know give it some moisture but 
it just doesn't seem appealing to me. I've tried ketchup once. It's very sweet and was not the kind of flavor I was expecting. Very gross, don't like ketchup. Yeah, I'm just a very picky eater. Um, I don't like my foods touching. I eat, like if I have, let's just say I have chicken, rice, and broccoli. I'll eat all of the chicken, then I'll eat all of the broccoli, then I'll eat all of the rice. I won't like mix flavors, none of that. Um, I don't know, I don't know what that means. Like, is there a deeper meaning behind that saying something about me? Maybe, but we're not gonna psychoanalyze myself because I feel like that wouldn't be healthy. I'll talk to that um, with my therapist. <laughs> Unless I start changing my ways and decide to start trying new things, um, I feel like I'll be a picky eater for a while. I am getting better though. I'm definitely better than I was when I was like 10. So that's a plus side, you know, we'll take the wins where we can. Um, but I still am pretty bad compared to the average person. <laughs> so, I mean, sorry, I don't know. Do I blame this on my parents for raising me this way? But I mean, they didn't. That's just how my taste buds work. Okay, I've never understood this. Sorry, I'm going on way too long about this, but I've never understood when someone will be like, well, I was just raised eating this food, so I learned to like it. I've never understood that because if my taste buds don't like it, they don't like it. Like, if I have to spit something out, I'ma spit it out. Am I sounding like Dixie D'Amelio now? What the? Remember when she got canceled for spitting out food? Whatever. We're not gonna talk about that now. Anyways, those are some facts about me. I don't know why I decided to do seven and not like an equal, not an equal, an even number. But you know, I guess that just proves that I'm an odd one. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go, so hope you enjoyed that, and, um, that's all from me. Toodaloo.